Hello everybody, my name is Casey and welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my big ass collection of Jacqueline Wilson books that I've purchased recently. During the month of January I sort of like started compiling a list of the ones I wanted to get and then I sort of like seeked out on Facebook as well as went on to eBay. The majority of these are from eBay but I got them really really cheap including postage so I'm about to share with you all the books in publication order of what I've got. So I've got the list right here next to me. There's a lot of books, so I hope you guys are ready. We have How to Survive a Summer Camp. This one I really, really honestly remember so, so much. This one is an early release. This one came out during the year. She originally came out in 1985. So yeah, this one, I think this one is like 1999. But yeah, so this is like literally the oldest book on Jacqueline Wilson's like like published works so that's crazy and then we got Glub Slime by Jack and Wilson this one I really really remember I remember reading this but I don't even ask me what any of these books are about because I'm talking like you know I read them when I was like 11 and I'm coming up 31 so we're talking 20 years ago now so yeah I don't remember it but I remember it's been a wacky book but this book um, you know, it's quite old. This one came out 1990. It says here originally it came out in 1987 though, um, but the Corgi published book is 1990. So, oh wow, this is crazy. Crazy. Like, ah! Next of all we have The Suitcase Kids by Jacqueline Wilson. This is the one that I read at the beginning of February and it was really interesting because I remember reading this. So this book came out on the 1992 yeah so yeah I was two years old <laughs> I was a treat a baby when this came out um, but I remember reading it when I was younger and oh, it's just crazy um, but yeah I really really enjoyed this um, after doing Core Pile I rated this four stars that's what came out um, so yeah really really good the first book of this series is like quite old this book edition it came out in the year of 1991 so it's really really old so this is the first book which is the story of a Tracy Beaker by Jacqueline Wilson and yeah it's like this book is iconic there was a TV show about it oh my goodness crazy so that's the first book now these other books came out in different years but I just want to share with you this series as well because it's part of a series so the sequel is the dare game this one came out to the year 2000 so nearly 10 years later we had a sequel the dare game I remember getting this from my school library and I never actually got around to reading it so I've read the first book but I never got around to reading the sequel and then since there's been other books as well in this sequel we've got here starring Tracy B Carr and this one I never even realized I thought there was just literally two books of Tracy Beaker out and that be it but this one came out in 2006 like this one starring Tracy Beaker and then we got here a Red Nose Day book here which is Tracy Beaker's Thumping Heart so it's a really really short story of Tracy Beaker and yeah like crazy but this one came out in 2009 so that's that one really really short and then this is the one that I already had a book of this one actually came out not too long ago because it's Tracy Beaker as an adult she's got her own kid in this book so this one came out in 2018 so, and that is my mom Tracy Beaker so I already owned this one and then there was a sequel to that which is We Are The Beaker Girls and I've no idea like when this one released actually because like I didn't even know there was a sequel to this one and this one came out in 2019 so literally a year later so these are all of the Tracy Beaker books there's actually quite a few so we've got Tracy Beaker when she was younger and then we've got Tracy Beaker when she is an adult so I think that's pretty cool actually that they've written her as a mum because you get to see exactly what happens next with Tracy Beaker. Then we have The Were Puppy and The Were Puppy on Holiday. This book here is a bind up of those two books so the first book actually came out quite early in the 90s in 1991 
and the Wear Puppy on Holiday came out, it says here, 1994, so a few years later. So again, a really, really sort of like old book. I'd never read this book. I don't remember this one at all. So yeah, this is like more of a younger Jack and Wilson reader book. But yeah, I'm really, really intrigued about this one. Then I've got here the Mum Minder by Jacqueline Wilson. I remember this book, but it's really, really short. I remember hearing about it, but it's really, really short. So this book released on 1993. I was three years old. Crazy. I mean, this is a really, really short book as well. Perfect for a reader though. So next of all, we have Twin Trouble and Connie and the Water Babies. I remember Connie and the Water Babies, definitely. This bind up is called Twin Tales. It contains the first book, Twin Trouble and then the sequel Connie and the Water Babies so I can tell you now the release dates of these two so Twin Trouble was first published in 1994 Connie and the Water Babies was first published in 1996 so I was literally like four years old and six years old it's crazy this is a really good condition one actually um the tree just looks kind of like it's brand new like somebody's bought it and like not even read it like maybe read it once and this guys the bed and breakfast star so iconic like oh my goodness like this book i loved it i loved it so so much so oh man just to have it again it's like awesome this came out in 1994 that's crazy 1994 i was four years old oh man just oh just I don't, but yeah i don't remember anything about this book but i just remember reading it next of all we have cliffhanger this is a very very short book this will be brilliant for any readathon actually it's a really really short book and this book, I can let you know now, was released in the year of dun, 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 1995. I was five years old when this book came out. Look at this picture here. These were the pictures that I knew when like, they came out. Literally, all of these books were the ones that I knew of the books that came out. Like, it's crazy. So yeah, really, really short book, Cliffhanger. And then we've got Buried Alive. And you can get a bind up with these two in actually called Biscuit Barrel. This book was released in 1998. I was eight years old. The same goes for Double Act. I remember really, really enjoying this book when I was a kid and like enjoying it so, so much. I think there was an adaptation of this one that was done. This came out in 1995. I was a mere five year old kid. Um, yeah, so, so nostalgic. I love having this again. Now we're on the other side of the A4 sheet. We have got here Bad Girls. This book, I absolutely love this book so, so much. Crazy, I remember reading it and really, really enjoying it. This came out in 1996. I was six years old with this one. Um, yeah, I just, oh my goodness. Like, I just get so many nostalgic feels whilst I'm sharing this with you guys. Like, I love this one. I've got here The Lottie Project. This one I never ever got around to reading, like ever, um, and this book released in 1997. Then we have an iconic teen series. I've got here Girls in Love, then I've got Girls Under Pressure, Girls Out Late, and then Girls in Tears. I read all of these books when I was a young teenager. I literally, I can't remember them though. I remember them being like three friends. Um, so yeah, I really can't wait till I like, get around to reading these again. So Girls in Love, these are really, really short books actually, like, like literally really, really short. Girls in Love came out in the year of 1997. So I was seven years old when this one came out. Girls Under Pressure, came out in the year of 1998 as well so it came out the same year and then girls out late came out during the year of 1999 so literally a year later after those two and then girls in tears i remember this one so so much and this one came out 2002 so a couple of years later i still remember these books like so so much these are really really nostalgic these set of books i love them got them from the library um yeah oh man I'm just really excited that i've got this series my goodness guys the illustrated mum i never ever actually got around to finishing this book i never got around i remember having it and really really wanting to read it and i just never did i never ever did so this book came out in 1999 i was nine years old oh my god there's a little message personal message inside here from the person that used to own this joanna edwards 6h keep off return if found <laughs> do 
do you guys ever remember when you were like really really young and you used to write in your books the tree like keep out of my book don't read my book like i used to do that with some of my books i used to like write my name like this belongs to so and so like you know i'd be like this book belongs to katie and i'd write it in all of my books ever since now um so probably when i sort of grew a bit of sense and then realized it's probably not a good idea to do facebooks unless you're really really going to keep them <laughs> but yeah still it was really fun back then wasn't it now lizzie zip mouth i remember this book so so much but again don't remember anything about it but it's such a short book this would be absolutely perfect for a read fun we have got here Joanna's Lizzie Zipmouth. Is this the same person that owned this book? <laughs> like, this is crazy. I have just literally messaged the person that sold these to me because her name is actually Joanna. And I just messaged her saying, like, did you have these ever since you were a kid? If so, that is really awesome because, you know, that's history, you know? She wrote in that when she was younger with glittery gel pens and everything, like, I used to do that oh my goodness this is mental that's so crazy I like having things like that some, where someone's a, a part of history with it you know so this was released in 2000 I was a 10 year old girl then we have Vicky Angel by Jacqueline Mostyn this is a really sad book if I remember I think like her best friend died in this book so yeah trigger warnings for death don't read this one but oh man just this is crazy. This is so sick. Someone's coloured in the V and the A of this. That's pretty cool. See, like, so much history with these books. This is awesome. So, this book released in 2000 as well. Jacqueline Wilson was so busy with her book releases. But yeah, I remember this being a deep, hard hitting book. Can't wait to read it again. Then we have my favourite Jacqueline Wilson book of all that I'd read so far when I was back then. That is The Cat Mummy. This book is just so brilliant um, about Mabel, a cat. Oh man, just so many memories. It's a really, really short book, but I love this book so, so much. So this book came out in 2001. Oh, I can't wait to read it again. Then we have Dustbin Baby. Do you guys remember this one? Oh, I think I read this way back then. I can't really remember now. Um, I may or may not have read this book, but this book actually released in 2001 as well. How on earth does Jacqueline Wilson do it? She just writes so many books a year. That's crazy. Next of all, we have Sleepovers by Jacqueline Wilson. I remember reading this one. I really enjoyed this one, actually. And, oh my goodness, it was just so, so super awesome. So this book released 2001, again, another 2001 release. Really, really short. Um, yeah, really happy to have it again. We have here The Worry Website by Jacqueline Wilson. I remember this one. This book came out in 2002. So yeah, but a really, really short book. Then we have here Secrets by Jacqueline Wilson. I can't remember if I read this one or not. I suppose I'll remember it if I like dive into it. Like maybe there might be some sort of inkling. This came out in 2002. I remember having it though, but yeah, I don't know if I read this. I may have read it, but I can't remember. I definitely remember this one, Although the Rose by Jacqueline Wilson. I remember reading this. I really, really enjoyed this one as well. This was kind of like one of the newest ones that I got. I dived into it. This came out in 2003, so I was 13. So I would have enjoyed this book then because that was around about the age I definitely really was loving my books. See, this just goes to show I loved reading, you know, just reading Jacqueline Wilson books. They were like my everything. And then we move on to Midnight by Jacqueline Wilson. This one I never actually got around to reading. I remember owning it though. It came out in 2003 as well. Another 13 year old. I remember getting it for like my birthday or something or Christmas. It was like on my wish list. Like, and I think if I remember, this was the one that my second cousin got me. Never got around to reading it. So maybe now is the time that I should. Then we have a best friends by Jacqueline Wilson. I loved this book so so much. It was just so awesome. Um, yeah I definitely remember reading this. This came out in 2004. I was 14 with this one but yeah I really really enjoyed this one. This is another one that I definitely remember reading back then and this was The Diamond Girls by Jacqueline Wilson. I remember it being like about family or something. <laughs> so this is like crazy. There's another little message in this book as well to Samantha Christmas 2004 from Nana and Grandad. Oh man, just this is crazy. 2004, so I was 14 with this book. 
Then we've got here Clean Break. I remember this one. I feel like I did read it, but I can't remember. But I suppose diving into it, it will definitely perk my memory again. This came out in 2005, so I was 15 with this book. I must have read it because I was obsessed with Jacqueline Wilson just like going up to school and everything. Then we have Love Lessons here. I remember reading this one definitely. I remember really enjoying it. This came out in 2005 as well. I feel like this was actually the last Jacqueline Wilson book I possibly got, if I can think of it. Like, I, I remember I was in my teens when I just stopped reading her books. I don't know why, because I loved her books. We are now going to move into the section of books where I literally have no idea what these are about or anything. These are like all standalone ones I've not heard of or like read from. Um, Hetty Feather, that series I've never like heard of but now we're going into the standalones of what I've not read. So the first of which is Candy Floss by Jacqueline Wilson. So this book released in the year of 2006. I was 16 but I never picked it up, you know? I should remember now being in my second secondary school after I moved and I remember like one of the English teachers saying like you shouldn't be reading Jacqueline Wilson books like you're a lot older than that um to like the class and I was just like eh? I mean he was a bit of an asshole that English teacher like nobody really liked him anyway but um yeah just to say something like that yeah just because she writes children's books you know why should we have to like force ourselves out into what we read sometimes if we really enjoy it why should we stop reading then i've got here kiss by jacqueline wilson i've never heard of this one before if i'm honest never ever heard of this one this came out in 2007 i was a 17 year old by this point never read it never heard of it so we've got here my sister jody i seem to remember like seeing it around in the bookstore but like never actually like picked up or anything oh Maddie Potts class five it's mine these messages are just so cute so so cute this is like just so awesome just for so many memories 2008 I was 18 by this point we've got here cookie by Jacqueline Wilson I remember this being in the bookstores I remember seeing this one when this was released so this one came out in 2008 as well I was 18 I just think we actually do remember going into um, my Waterstones way way back then and seeing this one. Next of all I've got a massive series for you guys this is a Hetty Feather series oh look at this so many books in this series so first of all we start with the first book which is Hetty Feather in itself so the first ever book I've never even heard of these books before this is crazy like about this but this it came out the year of 2009 that's when it was first published that's crazy 2009 that's you know pretty awesome and then we got the sequel which is sapphire battersea blue i'm loving it so so much this came out in 2011 then we have got emerald star which i managed to get this in hardback which is brilliant and this book came out in the year of 2012 so that was a year later and we have diamond so pretty and oh so cool this book came out 2013 a couple of years after that we have little stars this one's a bit of a chonker actually um this one came out in the year of dun 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 2015 I was 25 when this came out. And then we have Hetty Feathers Christmas, which I believe is like, you know, a festive edition of the series, which is like pretty cool and kind of cute. And she always like a little festive side to it. So this came out in 2017. Then we have Clover Moon, and this one came out in 2016, this one. So literally just before Hetty Feathers Christmas, this one came out. So I was 26 then. And then the final book in the series is Rose Rivers and this one's Pinky. Um, this one came out during the year of dun, 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 2018. So this was only like three years ago. That's crazy. I've never even heard of this series before. Then we've got here Little Darlings by Jacqueline Wilson. Never heard of this one before. Never saw it in a bookstore. So this one's a complete surprise to me. Um, in a way it's kind of like nice to have some surprises but this one released in the year of 2010 so I was 20 
when this book released. Then we have got here another book that I'd never ever like heard of before literally until like I was looking for Jack and Wilson's backlist this year and that is The Longest Whale Song. Never ever heard of it before um, but yeah, that is a brand new bestseller. This book belongs to Ellie. Well Ellie, it now belongs to me. So this book came out in 2010 as well. Jacqueline Wilson, you're a queen. Then we've got here Lily Alone by Jacqueline Wilson. This book, I remember like hearing about it, um, but this book came out in 2011, I was 21. Then we've got here The Worst Thing About My Sister. Never ever heard of this one either. This one is a mystery to me when I was looking up books about Jacqueline Wilson. 2012, I was 22, yeah. I haven't got a clue. Then we've got here a really, really short book release. This was a World Book Day release. It's called Big Day Out. I seem to remember this one being like on the table that they normally sell them for. They were like one pound. So yeah, just, man, this is really cute. It's so cute, it's so small. Um, so this one says here 2012. Then we have here Four Children and It. Never heard about this one either, to be honest. So yeah, this is, crazy um and then this first published in 2012 this this edition so yeah i'm just um looking forward to it so we have here queenie this one do not remember anything about i mean you think i would because there's like cats you think i'd check it out but nope i was just not going over to jacqueline wilson this was 2013 i was 23 years old uh, I'm trying to think, 23, I think I was working at Portons Park then as a ride operator, so crazy time. We've got here Paws and Whiskers by Jack and Wilson. I think this is a um, like mixture of small books and all tales. Um, so, I mean, this will be cute. It's like little stories about animals. I think that'll be absolutely adorable. So this released in 2014. Nice. And I remember before I was looking at it, look at that. That is pretty, pretty funky. So yeah, this one I think will be a really, really enjoyable read. Then we have got here Opal Plumstead. This is a chonker of a book, but do I remember seeing this? I have no idea, if I'm completely honest. See, this came out 2014 as well. I was also 24. I don't think I do remember it at all. Then we got here The Butterfly Club. Don't have any clue about this book. Never saw it or anything. Never knew about it. So this is a surprise too. And this one released in the year of dun 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 2015. I was 25. This is a floppy paperback. I'm loving it. Floppy, floppy, floppy. You know I love me floppy books. Then we've got here Katie by Jacqueline Wilson. My name is spelt with an IE. This is spelt with a Y. So this I might enjoy because it's the same name as me. Um, but yeah, this book came out in the year of 2015 as well. I was also 25. I seem to think I remember I saw this around actually as well. Rent a Bridesmaid by Jacqueline Wilson. Another book that I had no idea existed, never saw, never knew about. So this is a surprise as well. So this book released on 2016. I was 26. Only a few books left now and we're going into the closest release books now. So next of all we've got here Wave Me Goodbye by Jacqueline Wilson. I've never ever heard of this book before. This was brand new to me um, of seeing it. This came out in 2017 so I was 27 with the release of this book. Yeah, I haven't got a clue about this one. The same with this one, Dancing the Charleston, What the F, like never heard of this book before. Crazy, so crazy, but it's it's a beautiful, beautiful cover. And this book released 2019, and this is when I was 29, so this is only like a couple of years ago now with this one. My goodness, never heard of it before. And then we have got the most recent release by Jacqueline Wilson, and that is Love Frankie. This one I have seen in Waterstones, definitely. It's one of those books that I believe is like LGBT. I mean, it literally says on the front here, falling in love for the first time, it's a girl, girl thing. Girl romance, Jacqueline Wilson, what on earth? Look, look guys, a rainbow. That is so cool. I must admit, Jacqueline Wilson books are designed really, really well. So yeah, I love Frankie. Oh my goodness, an LGBT novel. This came out in 2020, so this literally came out last year. 
So that's crazy. This is the last book of my collection. It's the most recent Jacqueline Wilson book that I've got. And I'm really looking forward to getting around to it eventually. I want to start reading um, Jacqueline Wilson's books in publication order though, because I want to just kind of like, I find it interesting. I want to see like how her writing style goes, um, especially with her younger readers, her shorter books, you know, her older books, all the way up until like 2020. You know, it's crazy. She's got a book that's coming out this year called The Runaway Girls. So I can't remember the month that it comes out. It's either March or May or something like that. So that's coming out so that's really exciting but I'm hoping to like read Jacqueline Wilson books sort of in between like you know big novels as sort of like a breakup you know for example if I've read a big fantasy then I'm gonna want to go to something like easygoing unless I want to read something else desperately but if I'm like in a bit of a slump because of a book these are the sort of books I'll be picking up. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm happy to share these books with you guys and for you to just see the Jack Wilson collection that I have accumulated over the past couple of weeks. Just seeing them come in the mail. And if you guys wanna know how much I spent, to be honest, not really a lot. Um, one seller on Facebook was about 10 pounds for the whole lot including postage. Another seller sold it for probably about 15 pounds including postage. And the rest I just got like, singularly on um, eBay for literally like two pound including postage or like 182 some crazy crazy price including postage um, so I did save a lot when you look at the represented price on all of these books I definitely spent under 100 pounds probably under 80 pounds to be honest but I'm happy I've got all these books now it's one thing that I wanted to do I wanted to do it last year and now I finally achieved my dream um, but now it would just be going through the books and I feel like what I would enjoy most is the nostalgicness of like reading these books again of the ones that I read when I was a lot younger when I get into the ones that have been released and that I never knew much about you know going into the like 2015 sort of thing you know Hesse Feather series I've no idea about so reading that would be like quite interesting as well but yeah it's mostly like the singular paperbacks I remember reading and then some of the beginnings of the hardbacks like with midnight lola rose best friends the diamond girls you know those sort of like books when she started to bring them out as hardbacks like those ones i like really really enjoyed um so yes yeah, so it would be really really interesting to see what i think about the ones that have been released like the past like five six years that i haven't read um but yeah i'm i'm i vlog my bookish experiences in my weekly vlog so if I do pick up a Jacqueline Wilson book it will be in my weekly vlog so if you don't want to miss any of those videos there is a bell notification that's next to my subscribe name and you can click on that and then select all so you don't miss any of my videos and um, but if there's anything else you'd like to know about Jacqueline Wilson or like anything then yeah just let me know down below I just see in a book earlier there were like a couple of other books I do remember like I think Video Rose, Mark Spock in the Dark and there was like one other book so I might end up getting those as well because I remember reading those when I was younger but yeah these are the ones that are like the proper like the proper novels so that's it for this video I hope you guys have enjoyed it I appreciate you guys watching it if you have because I realize it is going to be a long video because there's a low books um I didn't really go into a detail of like what the books are about because for one I wouldn't have a clue what they were about but yeah just check them out on goodreads on amazon this would be a massive video if I just went into every single book about what they're all about um, and I don't want it to be, it's big enough just sharing these with you guys, just sharing this collection. So, you know, I appreciate you guys like giving it a watch and I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. And if you have, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my video content and any videos you'd like to see me do. I'm always, always up for suggestions. Like I always listen to you guys. If you guys want me to do something, I'll do it. Like for example, I was like, hey, do you want to see me do my scratch card? And somebody was like, yeah, do it in a video. And I did it. So, you know, I will listen to you guys um, with your video content as long as it's obviously quite appropriate. But that's it for me. All of my social media links, as always, I'll link down below in the description if you'd like to follow me elsewhere Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, my wish list, my personal blog. It's all there for you to check out. Let's be friends, let's chat. I love making friends. I made so many friends this year already, and it's made me so, so happy. I'm just so glad to just 
it's with you guys and read with you guys i do do live read with me's as well if you guys are really interested in that i do do those but i haven't sorted out a schedule yet um until i go back into work and everything then i can really really sort out but hopefully maybe on like either sundays or mondays or maybe even saturday or tuesday evenings i could possibly do them as well but obviously let me know down below in the comments what your preferred time out of those few are because that will be when i return to work those will be the times that i will have free but that's it from me guys thank you so so much for watching my video as always i love you all to pieces thank you so so much you're absolutely brilliant and amazing and no matter what happens you guys are awesome you just need to keep remembering that so you need to keep smiling keep reading be happy and most importantly please please stay safe my dms are always open if you guys want to chat to somebody if you're feeling really low you feel like you need to talk to somebody and you feel like nobody's there for you i'm always there no judgment it's always kept between you and me no matter what my name is katie and i see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video bye